Hello, hello, writers. I'm Kristen Kiefer, author of fantasy fiction and creative writing resources, and you are listening to the Well Storied Podcast, where I share insights, encouragement, and actionable advice designed to help you craft sensational novels and build your best writing life, always in 30 minutes or less, so you can get back to writing, of course. Ready for the show? Let's get talking. Hey there, writers, and welcome back to the Well Story Podcast. I'm your host, Kristen Kiefer, and today is August 25th, 2016. Today's episode is titled, Breaking Down the Hero's Journey Plot Structure. If you would like to read along as you listen in, then you can catch the article edition of today's episode over on the Well Story blog at www.well-storied.com hero. Without any further ado, let's dive in. In 1949, mythologist Joseph Campbell published The Hero with a Thousand Faces, which outlines the structure of the journeys that archetypical heroes experience in world myths. This structure became known as the monomyth, or hero's journey, and has since served as the framework behind many popular speculative fiction books and films, including Star Wars, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, The Hunger Games, Ender's Game, and The Lord of the Rings. Typically, the hero's journey follows a chosen one, a character solely responsible for the fate of a people group in the face of great danger. The chosen one usually possesses a unique trait, skill, or ability that emphasizes their importance. Common examples include Luke Skywalker, whose ability to use the Force helps him save the galaxy in Star Wars, Katniss Everdeen, whose archery skills, fierce independence, and uncommon compassion make her the perfect face for the rebellion in The Hunger Games, and Aragorn, whose destiny as a descendant of Isildur enables him to bear his ancestor's famed sword and summon the aid of the dead men of Dunharrow in The Lord of the Rings. The hero's journey is circular in structure, meaning the chosen one's journey typically ends where it begins, though the journey itself will leave them forever changed. The structure introduces the chosen one in their known world, that is, a familiar place, before inviting them into an unknown or unfamiliar world rife with danger. Often, the journey into the unknown introduces the chosen one to their unique power. Alternatively, it may encourage them to utilize a known power in a new or increasingly demanding ways. At its core, the hero's journey is a story of transformation typically featuring a positive character arc that sees the Chosen One overcome an internal flaw to fulfill their destiny. If you'd like to write such a story, then utilizing the hero's journey can help you develop a powerful, well-paced plot. So let's talk about outlining the hero's journey. Several iterations of the hero's journey exist, some more complex than others. In today's episode, I will outline a fairly standard version of the monomyth, simplifying and tweaking some elements of Campbell's original outline for the sake of clarity and brevity. The first section of the hero's journey is known as the known world. The first beat in this section is the introduction. The hero's journey begins in their known world a familiar place in which they live a relatively mundane life. Typically, the introduction showcases the hero engaging in an everyday conflict or activity that reveals their dissatisfaction with the known world. For example, in Star Wars, George Lucas introduces Luke Skywalker as a farm boy living on Tatooine, a desolate desert planet. We first see Luke helping his uncle Owen purchase droids for the family homestead though we quickly learn that Luke would rather enroll in the Imperial Academy than tend his chores. The second beat in this section is the call to adventure. The call to adventure disrupts the hero's everyday life, presenting the hero with an often unwanted opportunity to leave their known world. Often, the hero hesitates to accept this call to adventure, fearing the real or imagined dangers the unknown world presents, 
deeming themselves unworthy of the adventure, or feeling duty-bound to remain in their known world. However, in some cases, the hero doesn't hesitate to accept this call, either because they're eager for adventure and unencumbered by responsibility, or because something terrible would be at stake if they refused. For example, Katniss immediately volunteers to take Prim's place when chosen for the Hunger Games, as Prim is young and highly unlikely to survive. The third beat in the first section of the hero's journey is the acceptance of the call. If the hero doesn't immediately embrace the call to adventure, then they may choose to do so after some deliberation. However, it's typically an unexpected event that pressures the hero into accepting the call. This occurs in Star Wars when Luke initially refuses to join Obi-Wan in aiding Princess Leia. But when Luke's aunt and uncle are killed by the Empire, Luke sees no other option but to accept Obi-Wan's request. Finally, let's talk about the fourth beat in the opening sequence of the hero's journey, supernatural aid. Upon accepting the call to adventure, the hero encounters or rejoins a being of famed or supernatural origin, who aids them in their journey. Take Gandalf, Glinda the Good Witch, and Albus Dumbledore, for example. Often, this so-called supernatural being will gift the hero with a special object or talisman, for example, the One Ring, and or train them to use their unique power, Take, for example, the Way of the Force. The second sequence in the hero's journey is called Journeying into an Unknown World. The first beat in this section or sequence is Crossing the Threshold. The threshold is the literal or figurative door between worlds, which the hero must cross to begin their journey into the unknown. Sometimes the hero must complete a task presented by a threshold guardian to begin their journey. For example, when Clary Frey begins to see a world invisible to others in City of Bones, she worries for her sanity. It isn't until she kills an attacking demon, the threshold guardian, that the supernatural Jace Wayland introduces her to the world of Shadowhunters. The second beat in this sequence is called Experiencing the Unknown World. After crossing the threshold, the hero experiences a series of events that opens their eyes to the wonders and dangers of the unknown world. While they may progress in their journey to achieve a particular goal, they haven't yet fully engaged with the story's main conflict or claimed their role in the fight. For example, upon leaving District 12, Katniss Everdeen journeys to the capital, where she must train for the games and participate in a series of interviews and events before she enters the arena. The third beat in this second sequence of the hero's journey is called the belly of the whale. Just as the hero begins to acclimate to the unknown world, an event occurs that marks the point of no return, solidifying the hero's separation from their known world and their willingness to transform. This moment occurs in The Lord of the Rings when the Ringwraiths attack and nearly kill Frodo as he journeys to deliver the ring to Elrond. Understanding what's at stake for the Shire, Frodo volunteers to take the ring to Mordor. The fourth beat in this section is called The Road of Trials. To begin their metamorphosis, the hero experiences a series of trials in which they must face the dangers of the unknown world. Typically, the hero fails one or more of these trials, though they will eventually overcome. For example, after Luke, Han, and Obi-Wan flee stormtroopers on Mos Eisley, they're captured by the Death Star's tractor beam. When Luke discovers that Leia is aboard the Death Star, he sets out to save her only to encounter a series of mishaps and run-ins with stormtroopers. The third sequence in the hero's journey is called Undergoing the Death and Rebirth Cycle. The first beat in this sequence is Approaching the Innermost Cave. To fulfill their quest, the hero must enter the heart of the unknown world, a place full of danger and wonder. 
The hero's approach to this innermost cave will clarify the true life and death nature of their quest, underscoring the stakes should they fail to achieve their goal. This moment occurs in the Hunger Games, when some of the career tributes chase Katniss up a tree, forcing her to at last confront the truest, darkest element of the games, the need to kill to survive. The second beat in this sequence is called Facing the Great Ordeal. After arriving at the innermost cave, the hero must complete a dangerous task, such as winning a fight, solving an important riddle, or facing an internal conflict. To emerge victorious, the hero must draw upon the lessons they've learned throughout their journey, and possibly make a terrible sacrifice. This moment occurs at the approximate midpoint of the hero's journey and serves as the hero's literal or figurative death and rebirth, from which they emerge with newfound strength and resolve to achieve their goal. Katniss experiences her great ordeal in the Hunger Games when the careers trap her with the intent to kill. Not only must she formulate an escape plan, she must decide whether she's willing to kill to ensure her survival. Ultimately, Katniss weaponizes a tracker jacker nest to distract the career tributes, ensuring her escape at the cost of killing two of her competitors. She emerges from this experience with the resolve to actively undermine her fellow competitors rather than continuing to hide and flee. The third and final beat in this third sequence of the hero's journey is called Receiving the Reward. Despite the cost of their victory, the hero often receives some form of reward for weathering their great ordeal, usually a magical object, new insight or abilities, or the return of an ally or loved one. In Star Wars, Luke's reward is the rescue of Princess Leia and the escape from the Death Star. In The Hunger Games, Katniss is rewarded with a newfound ally in Rue, a competitor who helped her formulate her Tracker Jacker plan. The fourth sequence in the hero's journey is called Beginning the Return Journey, and the first beat in the sequence is Atonement. With a great victory under their belt, the hero strives to return to some version of their known world. Sometimes they've yet to achieve their mission, though often they have. But because of the experiences of their death and rebirth, the hero is forever changed and they recognize that something remains amiss. The hero may try to overcome this feeling by atoning for wrongs committed during the first half of their journey, even as their renown as a known hero begins to grow. For example, after delivering Leia to the rebel base, Luke atones for his initial ambivalence toward the Empire by joining the rebellion as a fighter pilot eager to take part in the upcoming conflict against the approaching Death Star. The second beat in the return journey is called the True Resurrection. At last, the hero encounters their final battle with the dangers of the known world. Whether facing down the villain, a physical obstacle, or the choice between selfish and selfless desires, the stakes have never been higher. This moment marks the climax of the hero's journey, as well as the hero's true rebirth. In finding victory over the dangers of the known world, they save their people from harm and fully accept their new identity. In The Hunger Games, Katniss experiences resurrection when she kills Cato as a form of mercy and finds a way for both she and Peeta to maintain their dignity in the face of the capital's demands ultimately ensuring their survival. The final beat in this section, and the final beat in the hero's journey as a whole, is called returning to the known world. Having achieved their goal and attained some form of peace or satisfaction, the hero crosses the threshold into their known world. This final sequence affirms the necessity of the hero's journey showcasing how their quest not only led to internal transformation, but the ultimate safety of those they love. In some cases, the hero's return to the known world prompts a realization or radical transformation of its own, forcing the hero to forge a new normal in which to dwell. 
consider the Hobbit's return to the Shire after the destruction of the One Ring. While Sam's journey transformed him into a braver version of himself, leading him to ask for Rosie's hand in marriage, Frodo is too traumatized by his quest to remain in the Shire. Ultimately, he makes a new home for himself by taking a ship west to the Grey Havens. Isn't the hero's journey an epic plot structure? As evidenced by the examples included in today's episode, the hero's journey can help writers craft incredible speculative fiction stories. However, it's worth noting that not all stories influenced by the hero's journey fit perfectly into this structure. The events of The Lord of the Rings better align with the hero's journey when all three books are considered rather than each installment. And while Star Wars A New Hope does follow the general outline of the hero's journey, some moments do overlap and intersect. Ultimately, I encourage you to view the hero's journey as a tool rather than a strict blueprint. Structure exists to lend shape and stability to story ideas, but any good structure can and should be tweaked as needed to best fit one's vision. Apply this structure wisely to your story and you'll craft a novel as epic as any of your fantasy and science fiction favorites. Thank you for listening to today's episode of The Podcast Writer. I hope you found it helpful to your writing journey. If so, make sure to subscribe to the podcast so you never miss a new episode, and to give the podcast a quick rating or review. Doing so goes a long way toward helping the podcast reach new writers and lets me know that you're enjoying what I'm creating. You can also give me a shout out directly on Instagram at Kristen underscore Kiefer. For additional guidance as you work to craft sensational novels and build your best writing life, be sure to head on over to www.well-storied.com, where I share blog posts, workbooks, e-courses, and other helpful resources for writers. Again, that's w-e-l-l-s-t-o-r-i-e-d.com. Thank you again for tuning into today's episode, my friend. Until next time, happy writing!